Hello, my name is Nicole Ortega, and I today will be showing you the accurate way to take blood pressure. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have all the proper equipment. The equipment includes a stethoscope, an appropriate size blood pressure cuff. Look at the index. This is the icon on the cuff that lets you know if it's a good fit. If you do not have the right size cuff, you may not get an accurate measurement. Before beginning, make sure that your subject sits for five minutes and blood takes blood pressure. Extend your arm and support it on a flat surface. Your arm should be the same level as your heart. Both your feet should be flat on the floor. It's important. Do not check your blood pressure within 30 minutes of smoking or coffee or exercising. This can affect your blood pressure. Step one, go ahead and find your pulse. You will look at your subject's pulse by lightly pressing your index and middle fingers on the brachial artery slightly. If you are having locating the pulse, then use the diaphragm on the stethoscope to locate the pulse, placing it on the arm to listen. Secure the cuff. Push the cuff through the metal loop and slide the cuff onto your arm, making sure that the strap down and your cuff on the cubial fossa. Make sure to leave an inch of space above the bend of your elbow and use a fabric fastener to make this cuff snug, but not too tight. Then place the stethoscope in your ears, tilt the earpieces slightly forward to get the best sound. Step 3. Inflate and deflate the cuff. Hold the pressure gauge in your left hand and the bulb in your right. Make sure that it's closed air valve on the bulb by turning the knob all the way to the right. Start to inflate the cuff by squeezing the bulb with your right hand. You will hear the subject's pulse in the stethoscope. Look at the gouge. Keep inflating the cuff until the gauge reads about 200 to 220 millimeters of mercury. At this point, you should not hear the pulse inside the stethoscope. Keep your eye on the gauge. Slowly release the pressure cuff by opening the airflow valve to the left. Listen carefully to the first pulse beat. As soon as you hear it, note the reading on the gauge. This is the reading of your systolic pressure. The systolic pressure is a force between your blood against the artery rolls on your heartbeat. Continue to slowly deflate the cuff. Listen closely as, until the sound of the heart disappears. As soon as you can no longer hear your subject's pulse, note that the reading on the gauge, this is the reading of your di diastolic pressure. The diastolic pressure is the pressure between the heartbeats. Allow the cuff to deflate completely and record the first blood pressure. After deflating, you will repeat and wait one minute before taking and recording your subject's second blood pressure. You will add them both to get an estimate. It is important to make sure that you wait that one minute before continuing. It is important for anybody getting a systolic or diastolic reading higher than the normal reading of 120 over 80 to seek a physician or caregiver. It is important about your health and your concerns of your body. Talk to your doctor or nurse before following any medical regimens to see if it's safe and more effective for you. Thank you for your time and subscribe to my video on my website listed below.